you know what? What? It's gonna seem crazy. Try me. Because it happened to one of my cousins. And how old is that cousin of yours? She's dead. She's dead? Yes. We had already done two investigations. Going into this third one, I wondered to myself, what if nobody shows up? I mean, people must know that, that Dateline is out there doing another investigation. Well, in fact, we had guys show up who had seen our previous shows and came in anyway. And Daniel Polito was one of them. How are you tonight? Why don't you have a seat right there, please? Do me a favor and keep your hands out of your pockets, okay? What are you up to tonight? Nothing. Nothing? No. Nothing or nothing good? Nothing good. Nothing good? No. Yeah, who are you here to see? That girl on the internet. The girl on the internet. And what is that girl's name? I think it was Sammy. Sammy. <laughs> yeah. Right. And how old is Sammy? I don't know. She said that she was 14. And how old are you? I'm um, 40. 40. And you think it's okay to come no, see a 13-year-old no, girl at 40? it's not okay. Then why did you do it? You know what? What? It's going to seem crazy. Try me. But I was going to tell her that there's a lot of people do that stuff like that. I wasn't going to do anything to her because it happened to one of my cousins. And then he goes into this long story about how one of his young female relatives had actually been killed by a potential predator. What happened to one of your cousins? She got raped. Really? And, uh, by somebody she met yes, on the internet? Yes. And, and how old is that cousin of yours? She's dead. She's dead. She's dead? Yes. She was killed? Well, the first time that she got raped, she didn't get killed, but she got killed after that. Your cousin was raped yes. by someone she met on the internet? Mm -hmm. And how old was she? She was 16. 16? Yes, sir. That must have had a big impact on your family. Tell me about it. And what was her name? We looked into Polito's story and we were unable to confirm that in fact it had happened. So based upon that, you decided to come over here and tell Sammy about the dangers of talking yes. to strangers on the internet. Yes. And what were you going to tell her? I was going to tell her, look, you know what? If you keep doing this, I mean, there's no, there's no other people like me but there's other people that it's kind of dangerous and they can do it to you. I know I show, her, I show myself to her on the internet. What do you mean you showed yourself to her? I mean I show her my uh, webcam. Yes. And, uh, and, what and that's the only reason, you know, because, I mean, people like that get skilled. So, so I'm, I'm confused. You showed her what on your webcam? Me. You yes. doing what? She's naked. Naked. To get her attention. You yeah. pose naked on your webcam, mm -hmm. so a 13-year-old girl could see it because you wanted to teach her a lesson. Well, you can say that. Yeah, you so this is like a tough love thing? No, no, no. No? I'm not there to be a detective. You know, I'm there to get information as a reporter. And obviously, I'm not going to let them take advantage of me, you know, if I'm getting jerked around. But I'm there to, to get information, not to, you know, punish these guys. Well, what is it exactly? It's like I told you, just to make, make sure that, you know, she don't do stuff like that. Get attention. So the, you sent these, you allowed her to see these pictures of yourself. Yes. This. Yes. That, that's you. Yeah. And you're, what, masturbating there? Playing with myself. Playing with yourself, yeah. Yeah. And you knew that a 13-year-old girl was going to see those. Yes. And you did this just to teach her a lesson. <sighs> well, basically, yeah. Basically. Yeah. Do you see why that's hard to believe? I know, yeah, it is. It First is. of all, you lied and told her you were 30, and you're really 40. I'm 40, right. exactly. You say you're cute, you don't look 13. You ask where she is, just asking because I'm naked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. You ever see a naked guy before? You ever feel a blank before? Yeah. Yeah. What have you done? Did you like it? How old was the guy? Will you give a slang for oral sex. 
but remember I'm 30. It sounds like you wanted to date her, not teach her a lesson about the dangers well, of you know, the, he, I mean, he, I guess she would have yeah, learned about the dangers of the, yeah. of the internet had I not been there and had she been here, huh? Well, you're gonna make it sound like that, you know, so they can believe you. And have you done this sort of thing before where you've tried to teach a girl a lesson? No. This is the very, very first time I've this. Very first time. Why even talk to somebody who you know, think is 13 stupid. years old, stupid. huh? Stupid. It was stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. So why don't you... you... Know, have, I have... I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you straight up. I All have right. a... Well, I had a stepdaughter. Yeah. And she was... Um, well, we separated from my wife. I have a five-year-old kid. Right. And my stepdaughter, and she was... At the moment, she was 14. Mm hmm And she was doing the same thing, playing on the internet. Right. And uh, she met a guy... He wa well, he wasn't old enough, but he was like 17, but she right. was 14 at the moment. And I swear to I got so pissed. I even told my ex, you know what, I don't want her. If she does, she's not going to go by the rules in the house. So wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that you had a 14-year-old stepdaughter who met a guy on the internet to have sex. No, no, no. She met him, you know, just, just to, uh, right. to be friends. To be friends. By and that upset you. Yeah. Yeah, so you're upset and you didn't want her meeting well, guys I on the internet. Her, you know, you so on you walk into this house to meet a 13-year-old girl. I so know, why is that okay? You know, as a parent, you know, when somebody comes in and tells me a story like Polito did about how his stepdaughter had met somebody online and he's all upset about that when it comes to his stepdaughter, but he's willing to walk into somebody else's house and meet somebody else's daughter? I mean, that's the ultimate hypocrisy. Would you be okay if a grown man of 40 years no, old walked no, into course. your home to meet your daughter? Of course not. Of course then not. why is it okay for you to do this? I know. It's stupid. Very stupid. So that all that stuff about teaching her a lesson and being the, no, well, the, the protector, that's, that's, that's a big lie. That's, no, it's, it's, it's what I was going to tell her, too. Why couldn't, you just, why couldn't you just tell her I don't in know. the Internet? Why couldn't you just say, this is a bad idea, you're yeah. young, you shouldn't be doing this? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Why not call yeah. this internet service provider and say, look, there's a girl here, yeah. she might be in danger. It's true. But you didn't do any of that, did you? No. No, you came here. Did you bring condoms with you? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I did. You did bring condoms? Yes, I did. And, and what part of the lesson? So I, was, I wasn't going to use them. I was going to give them to her. You were going to give her condoms? And tell her, look, if you want to do this, it's I want your own. All right, so you just came over to tell her it's a bad idea to talk to guys on the internet, but if you're going to talk, here, use some condoms. Yeah. Danny, mm -hmm. that doesn't wash. I know. It doesn't wash. Well, I'm sorry. Why don't you start again and just tell me what your plan was tonight? Just to meet her. Just to meet her. Yeah. But the condoms, the sex talk. I know, I know. I know. I've never done this before. I mean, I've, I have never been in problems with the police. Do you ever watch TV, Danny? Yes. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Yes. Have you ever seen our stories on computer predators? Yes. This is one of them. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say for yourself, no, that's it. then obviously you're free to leave. Thank you. I think some of these guys truly believe that Dateline can't be everywhere. You know, what are the odds of it happening to me? Law enforcement can't be everywhere. I'm not going to get caught. But Walk all the way stop. to the street. Stop. No, stop. Turn, turn, around. Turn, around. turn around. There's another group of guys who I think you know, are so caught up in the chats and, and the addictions of the porn sites that they get to a point where <laughs> nothing will satisfy them but a face-to-face -face meeting. And that's when they blur that line between fantasy and reality, and that's